Hey guys, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Thanks for tuning back in. I want to show you, uh, we had a question here uh, from a Nancy S. Uh, she said, I'm trying to create a macro where somebody types in the start date in cell C8 and the end date in cell C9 and basically the, when the macro runs it's going to go in one month intervals. Now I didn't know if she meant exactly 28 or 30 or 31 days or just the beginning of each month from that point which we're probably going to lean that direction but there you could uh, add 30 days and it just won't be the first of the month after a while it'll start being a different day of the month. We're just going to go with it. Let me show you what I would do typically. Let's say the start date was uh, 4 or 5 2014 and the end date was uh, 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 the end date was 10 um, 31 2014. What we would do is we would take um, uh, April here and then we take uh, October here and I'll show you what we do without using VBA. I'm going to say equals um, uh, let's see you take the end of month function the EO month and we would take this and um, or you could use the date and let's just go um, zero this will t tell you the end of the month just want to show you something here let me format this column as a date uh, with using control one so that would be the end of that month. What you could do is you can take the end of the month formula plus one day and that gives you um, the beginning of a month. So you could use that, you could use um, instead of zero months you could say negative one months and that would give you the first of the month. Now there's other ways to do that. You could also use equals uh, date and then you just say you know I want the year of that comma the month of that same cell comma and then the one the first of that month but also get you the first of the month anyway that's your starting point and whatever way you choose to to do that and then every time you want the next month of course you're going to take equals the end of the month of the last one that we did messed with and uh, zero months in the future and then plus one day the end of that month plus one day is always going to be the first of the month. So that's, and then you just copy that down indefinitely. You have the first of each month because you're taking the end of the last month plus one day. Well, that by default is the first of this next month. So anyway, that's kind of the theory behind it. And we're going to roll with that in the VBA. So you have to have your starting point. Let's say the starting point was in fact cell F8. Uh, so I'll put my header here dates. Okay, so uh, starting with F1 and so on. So F1 will be my starting point. I'll just go ahead and put a marker on there. Something like that. F1. Okay, so Alt F11 in the Visual Basic Editor now. I'm going to create a new module. Okay, and we're going to create our new macro. It's going to say sub. That's how you annotate uh, that you're doing a new macro. Sub in the title of this will just be uh, month generator, month gen. Hit enter and you've got your new macro. Let's start typing it. Let's scooch this over just a tad so we can um, see what we're doing here. So we've got, um, let's set up the starting date is going to be um, in C8 and the end date is in C9. So we'll say my start equals range C8 and of course my end equals range of C9. Now that we have these set into a variable which is not absolutely necessary but it's just easier to uh, navigate. We've also got uh, um, well anyway our, our starting cell is F8 so I'm just going to notate that the starting row is, um, is going to be 8. That's the row that we need. So we can use S row or we could even just use X. That'll be all notate that's my starting row by using an apostrophe right there. Okay, eight is my starting row. So we're going to start uh, putting in the first of the month. Let's do this. For X, um, 
I'm just going to say x equals uh, 8 to 1000. And so I guess we don't need that. And we'll say next x. Now, if you think you're going to go way beyond 1000, that's fine. But we're going to stop it prematurely whenever we meet our criteria with this end date here. So we're going to first we need to get the first month. So we need to get the, the first of um, the first date there. Um, the first time around, we'll just go ahead and before we even get it to our loop, let's just have that do the nine. So um, let's get the EO month for function going on there. So range of uh, F8 is going to be the starting date. So that's going to be application dot worksheet function dot EO month. And we're going to use our uh, my start. That's and then we're going to go zero months in the future, right? Actually, I think if you remember just a moment ago, we went ahead and went reviewed that we're going to go negative one months in the past for the end of that month plus one would be the first of this month. If that doesn't make sense, you might want to rewind a little bit. So that's going to give us our first of the current month right now, and then. Um, Let's go, let's go ahead and debug through that a little bit. F8, so my start is 4-5-2014. My end is 10-31-2014. You might want to tell people, just make it easy on yourself and use the first of the month for each of these, but maybe you don't want to. Anyway, so the first thing is range F8. So you see F8, we got the first of the month there now. So now X is going to loop from 9 to 1,000. which We're not ever going to reach 1,000 unless you have a really, really long date range. So, let's see here. Yeah, 1,000 months is unlikely. So X is going to start with 9. Let's hit uh, F8. So it's going to be 9. We're going to run row 9 now. And so we're going to try to get the next month. So, and um, you'll see in a minute we need to have some criteria. But let's just adjust that as we go. The criteria being, hey, have we met our criteria of the end date or not, but we'll do that in a second. Let's get this loop going. So on the current row, we're going to say um, we need the end, uh, the the next beginning of the next month. So let's say um, okay, we have my start as the variable. Actually, I think my start should now be. Um, the starting date is now going to be whatever's in range F8 because it's the first of the month, uh, although it probably doesn't matter. So let's see, my start is now the first of the month, and now we're going to have, uh, uh, we're going to use the cells object, and we're going to use the current row, which is row X, which is 9 currently, and that would be column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is F, or you could just simply put F in quotes like this. So we'll just put 6 right there, and that is going to be equal to, we'll do this application.worksheet function, EO month, and we're going to say um, whatever my start is, and 0 months in the future, and we'll add one day, that'll be the start, the first of next month. So let's see what that does to our formula here. We already did that, and so now we're on row 9. Let's hit F8 and see what happens to right here. So there's 5, 1. The next X is going to bring us to 10. And so row 10 and column 6 is now going to be... You know what? Each time, my start should equal the new cell. So let's backtrack a little bit here. Um, let's start over. So F8, da 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 da, da we got here. And it puts uh, that in there, but then we're going to trap that back into my start. So my start is now going to be 5 1. And the next one is now going to be 6 1. And then my start will then be so because it keeps referring to itself so it's kind of looping around whatever it is now 
it's gonna so it's gonna go on perpetually it's gonna go on forever until it either hits a thousand or we stop it prematurely so let's do some criteria right here if my end that's the ending date um, or if um, my start which is the current date if that is um, greater than or equal to my end then I think we should exit the for next loop so we're going to say then exit for now we might need to test that because it might need to not be greater than or equal to it might just need to be greater than might need to be less than it's kind of late at night right now my brain's kind of out of it but you see what you can do there you can actually do a uh, comparison operator here so uh, let's uh, let's analyze this. So if is, is the starting date the, or the current date 11 1 2014 is November greater than or equal to uh, that right there? No, it's still less than that. So we haven't reached quite our ending date. Uh, or have we? Let's see here. Greater than. Uh, oh yeah. So it should have stopped right there. That's perfect. Um, yeah. So either stopped right there or stopped right after there. So maybe this comparison thing should be cut and pasted to the end. I don't know. I would have to play with it for a second. So let me erase all this good stuff. And we'll do our macro one more time. But we're pretty well there. So starting date, the first of the month goes there. And then we're going to say my start is now this date right here. And then we start with row 9 here. And we're going to say... Um, no, 4 1 is definitely not greater than uh, Halloween day of 2014, so we get to do our stuff. Do 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 do. 8 9. And in fact, 9 1 is still less than the end of October, so it should allow it through. And then when it gets to. Um, yeah, it probably should should analyze this at the end. I'm going to move it right here. And we're going to print that, pretend that already just happened. Da, 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 da. Where are we at here? We're on row 15 now. Mm. One more time here. Now that we adjusted that, Alt F11. And um, let's go through this. Six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, here's where we're. So it's going to be nine one, and that's okay. Ten one, and the starting date is now that. Uh, 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 if my start is greater than or equal to my ending, hmm, it's going to let it go through another time, isn't it? Maybe I'm going to disagree with myself again. Maybe it should have been up here. Yeah, because that one should not have been allowed through. It should have analyzed it right there. Okay, fine, whatever. So, alright, so I'm just going to run the macro. I'm just going to hit Alt F8, and I'm going to click on the month gen, and we'll see how our macro does. Boom. Oh, I still don't like 11.1 being there. Well, here we go again. So sometimes you have to debug through some stuff a little bit to get it perfect, but oh well. Such is life, right? Alright. Let's get back to where we were, right about here. Alright, starting date. Ending date's right there. So let's see. Ten one. I see what's going on there. It's the first of the month, and really our ending date should be should not go past that month. Um, so you could go either way. You could either change the my end to be like 10 1 of 2014, like October 1st. 
you could from the get go you could do this this thing right where you do uh, negative one month plus one day and do the first of the ending month and the first of the starting month but you would probably want to do that because otherwise it's going to bleed over if it's not exactly the first of the month but that's um, I'll show you what I would do there I would go ahead and make the ending date be that I would make the ending date be the um, application dot worksheet function uh, dot eo month and I'll just flat out say the end of the month of that range C9 and then uh, negative one and then of course plus one day so that my end is always going to be 10 1 or whatever 1 and that way it should work let's try it again yeah so it's working uh, alt F8 the only macro we have in this workbook you can hit run or you can double click there boom there it is so that being said I will make this workbook downloadable and we're gonna go ahead and let's do a file save as we need to make sure this is a macro enabled workbook right there and we're gonna do a Dropbox link so you guys can immediately download this let's see here so it is fun shared workbooks and we will call this one date loop uh, uh, by month workbook. okay so you guys can download that one for free just click on my Dropbox link in the video description and um, I'll zoom in a little bit on here and also what was the also I wanted to add a little button to make this easier developer tab we're going to insert a form control button right there and we're going to say uh, right click properties we're going to go ahead and jot over the caption click to run dates yeah something like that that's cool hey we're going to make the, the button all awesome let's go to the palette let's make it bright gaudy green no we have too much green already make it a bright blue great click to run dates now let's right click on this button or uh, double click on it rather do a click event I'm going to say um, what was the macro called month gen all right we we'll, we'll just say you can say call month gen or you could just say month gen nowadays so basically whenever you take it off a of design mode whatever you have here let's do let's do um, February 1st through um, uh, May 1st of 2016 and let's run our dates boom so now you have all your dates until May 1st 2016 just that simple thanks for watching guys and God bless oh and don't forget to check out my free ebook um, you can either purchase it on my website Excel VBA is fun or uh, for seven dollars or if you would like to get it for free you can actually sign up for my newsletter and as a gift to you uh, just for signing up for the, the free tips and, and uh, offers and everything I will give you my new book the uh, essential Excel VBA snippets they are copy and pasteable code snippets that you can use to improve your game in Excel VBA thanks again for watching and God bless guys and be on the lookout for my new course the ultimate um, the complete or ultimate um, Excel VBA course which will be available uh, come November 2014 on udemy.com and uh, I'll be throwing out some coupon codes to make it um, uh, cheaper to get whenever it's first uh, released so be looking out for that check our Facebook page check, um, check back here thanks again